Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to do image segmentation from MediaPipe using MediaPipe. So um, you can definitely go through this particular guide but uh, image segmentation task we all are very familiar with. Uh, basically you have an image and then you, you are trying to get your own you know interest uh, region of interest ROI and uh, you want to separate mostly speaking background to foreground and uh, let's say if there are multiple um, objects are there then you want to have uh, instant segmentation as well okay so all of that is possible using this particular uh, image segmentation using media pipe uh, when it comes to image segmentation in media pipe there are a couple of things that you can do first of all you can uh, kind of remove or let's say separate person from a background so in this case you can see there is a person here and then there is background and here you can see the background is there and the person has been separated you can also uh, uh, segment a person's hair only if you want to you know you want you have some kind of an app where this functionality is needed you can definitely do that and there is obviously a person's hair person's face skin clothing accessories all those things can also be uh, so basically there are three models over here one can differentiate between person and background second model can differentiate person's hair and everything else uh, and third uh, model can uh, differentiate between hair it can find the face skin clothing and accessories and so on and so forth okay lastly that we will be using in this particular video is something that's not mentioned in three and it's the fourth one which is mentioned below which is basically your deep lab v3 okay so this model identifies segments for for a number of categories which means obviously background will be there person will be there which uh, which the other three models were doing but this can also find cat dog so basically segment cat dog and you know potted plant and all those things okay um so we are going to use this deep lab v3 model it's not a new model it's actually very old um, not very old but uh, yeah in terms of ai and deep learning it's just, it's it's been there for quite a while now so let's go and look at the code okay so uh, the uh, the image that i'm using in this particular video uh, is this one okay and yes even it said only cat dog no it can also detect horse okay which means there are more objects than that that's the point and obviously there is a human being and then there is background so typically what you would want is you want a separate mask for or a separation of background with the person and then separation of uh, of the horse from the rest too okay so you want all of that so now let's go and uh, see so here the image has been uh, loaded okay so first thing obviously you do uh, pip install media pipe that will uh, download your media pipe library and this particular link obviously i'll upload the notebook this is what you need to download so this will download the deep lab uh, version 3 okay so i told you deep lab is not new it's been there for quite some time this is the version 3 okay so um, here basic uh, uh, cv2 and uh, so uh, some of you might be you know asking why do we do this why do we have google.colab.patches it's because this particular cv2 dot show and then you have over here you pass the name of the image and then finally the image this does not work okay it's it shows that there is some problem in colab this works in the normal desktop computer but it does not work in colab after that you basically import numpy and media pipe as mp, MP and then tasks uh, obviously we have python and in python we are doing vision okay we are doing vision problem so that is basic that we have done again you have to specify the base options that is where you have to specify the model in this particular line above you have already downloaded the model over here you had downloaded the model and you can see over here the model is already there so you can go over here and then you can copy path so once you do the copy path you can come over here and then paste it over here okay you can do like this also you can paste it over like this also or you can remove the content and you can also keep it the way it was before okay so output category mask true that's uh, that is exactly what we are doing we want the mask and that is how we will uh, find out our categories so this is the image again the image again I, I can show you here image you you can get it from here and then copy path and paste the path over here okay now let's get into the segmentation part so um, what you do is you instantiate this vision dot image segment segmenter dot create from options and then you uh, have the options as segmenter so you're basically instantiating this particular class now you have to pass the image so mp dot image dot create from file image file is over image file this one is over here it has been defined over here 
right after that you will have in the segmented or segment uh, section you will pass the image images from here and then finally you will be getting over here the segmentation result so this is the result that we will be using for our segmentation task so firstly what you can do is you can see what are the options that are available okay so when once you do dir of uh, segmentation result which was the result of the segmentation process basically you will see not the double underscore so these are inbuilt okay not these category mask and confidence masks confidence mask i didn't really find that useful especially if you are uh, you know you are not into very high level kind of uh, uh, custom implementation stuff you don't need this one even pytorch does this uh, if you have used uh, mask rcnn this is there even there and this is, is even there but generally speaking we don't use it we are only interested in category mask i spent some time with this but i found that this is not this not to be very very important okay especially in the starting stages okay so after that segmentation dot uh, segmentation result dot category mask so um, as i said we are going to take this particular one so we say category mask and now again dir of that to see what else we have so there are a couple of things over here what we want is numpy dot view numpy underscore view why i'll show you so when you do numpy underscore view over here you can see you basically get the mask this is the mask okay and uh, yeah you are seeing some zeros because this is the background actually not all of them are zero so i did a sum of uh, whatever this is this this entire thing is at the top itself so this entire thing was copied from here and then i did a sum so if all were zero this would have been zero but this is definitely not zero which means that it has detected some things but in the outer edge pixels it's zero that is what it means okay so what are the things that it has detected okay so uh, basically the class 0 which is the background and class 13 and class 15 now you'll uh, figure out later that class 13 is human being and class 15 is horse okay so this is dependent on the data set on which it was trained again i haven't covered the data sets uh, in this particular um, till now uh, i'll have to create a series on that and only then i'll be able to get into that okay so uh, segmentation result dot category mask dot numpy view i am just keeping it as a mask so whatever this particular uh, the tensor or array basic whatever you want to say tensor only uh, you had seen uh, we have have we are instantiating or we are storing it in a variable called mask okay now we will have to print all of all of this okay okay so 13 was horse 13 was not as you can see i have uh, all the things here so 13 was horse and 15 was person okay now we have to display we are writing a function to display now i'm just going through all the steps but uh, this is basically going to create a image which np dot zeros that is going to be a black image of the size mask okay that is the meaning of np dot zeros like okay fine so we will store that as cat that is uh, category basically over here okay now at what position you want your masks to have a white pixel obviously you are only interested in the horse one because you will be passing 13 over here in the first case so you are interested in the in the horse so wherever it says wherever it is 13 that is wherever the pixel corresponds to the horse convert it to 255 that is white pixel and rest everything will be zero why because we have in, uh, initialized it as numpy zeros like so all the values initially were zero only in the position where mask is equal to uh, cat num that is th 13 in this case you put the value as 255 so if you print this you will get this particular image okay so there are three images over here okay there i i should have put over here a line but i haven't put the line these are actually three images okay so this is the first image this is the second image and this is the third image this is a real image now yeah one more thing that i have to tell you even our even though our real image was this which is uh you know it's uh, it's a good image if you reduce it to 300 cross 300 which i have done over here see um, you see over here i have read the image and uh, in image i have yeah over here i have resized it to 300 and 300 and it gets pixelated okay uh, you don't have to worry about this because uh, mostly you will be working you don't have to resize the image but since i have to make a video and show you know all the three images side by side i have to i had to make it small and that's why it's all pixelated okay so you don't have to worry because you don't have to make a video you just have to follow along okay now you have the mask over here so cat is over there now you want to again resize that so you're basically resizing it to and uh, to 300 cross 300 and i'm going to give it a new variable which is called cat mask and uh, as 
you know as i have done this you need to make it three dimensional now this i don't know why it I mean it could have been done better we don't need to do it three dimensional but you have to do it that is np dot d stack okay so it stacks basically matrices in the depth dimension okay so what it means is that if you have something like uh, your matrix is uh, m cross n so m cross n it will just make it n m cross n cross uh, d stack is going to make it it's going to keep the dimension over here it's going to keep the m cross n dimension over here m comma n and it's going to add a new dimension d that's what is doing so this was a black and white image because it does not have channels this is the colored image so here in case of d it will be three okay so rgb that is the idea nothing very complicated that's why the number three is over here but again in this case we are just copying that matrix three times in the depth dimension uh, if you if it seems a little bit complicated you need to uh, go and check the numpy uh, what to say your uh, documentation for this particular um, function okay then uh, what you're going to do you are going to read the image over here the basic image that a horse and uh, human being image and then you need to do a bitwise and so what bitwise and does is basically it takes a mask okay and then it takes an image and then wherever the mask is equal to 255 it will take the image and wherever the mask basically it will do an bitwise and operator and since the values are only 0 and um, 255 because here we had initialized as 0 and here some of them were 255 whatever was at 0 it will remain as 0 but whatever as was at 255 it will take the value of the mask so if you see over here okay so this was the mask and your this was the real image so here here everything was black so in the image this is the final image which i am talking about over here everything is black wherever it was white it has taken from here and then applied it over here now you can say this is not perfect yes that's why i said this is not perfect this is a small model if you want perfection you should use a uh, segment anything from uh, meta ai that is near about perfect okay or even mass rcrn is good enough but again sam is something better okay then you do a bitwise and to get the uh, this but this um, final middle image okay this is the mid final image and then what you can do uh, for the masked image you just uh, convert this uh, this is the masked image this is the masked image i think and what you can do is basically you can um, so basically the result that after you got this is the result i'm sorry this is the result this middle one you what you do is you resize it to call masked image so it is already masked okay this was mask cat mask was the mask and this was masked image so the uh, image after doing the masking and finally you uh, you reduce this uh, the, the real image that is this particular image and then you concatenate everything in the uh, just to show all of them in one line otherwise these would be big and all three lines i will have to scroll all the time okay so that's the idea and finally you do an im show of that particular image and this is what you get okay so this is the mask image as i told you this is masked image which is uh, this final image and mask together you will get this particular image okay uh, same thing for uh, 15 15 is a human being okay you uh, you play the same you display the you use the same function over here and it was it is going to give you the mask of the human being it is then going to and this is the final image and it will up, uh, take both of the two and then print this particular image over here um, lastly what you can do is um, one small uh, change that you can do is why don't we take the person as uh, our uh, subject and then blur everything okay so or why not just take person and horse because this is the foreground and this is the background so why not blur everything okay in the background so as you can see over here we blurred the entire image we didn't care about foreground and background we blurred the entire image so here you can see even the face of this person and the horse has been blurred okay and this particular image is what we have seen this is just uh, the real image again pixelated i told you why but this is the real image once what you do you take the background of this that is in this image i'll i'll go a little down you took the background of this image and foreground of this image so you see foreground in this here is pixelated because it is taken from here but the background is clean because it has been taken from here so background is from this image foreground is for this image so what you have here is the real good foreground and blurred background okay so this is how it is done and i'll show you how so basically you read this particular uh, image and then you blur it using a gaussian blur 
uh, with a kernel size that is huge, that is 55 cross 55. So we are not only removing noise, but we are actually blurring, real blurring is being done over here, okay? As you can see over here, the facial features are really hard to distinguish. After that, what you do is uh, you took, uh, you again do, uh, did the D stack, okay? And then wherever there was not a zero in the mask, so which means it uh, was not a background, you took the image and wherever it was the background, that is the way np.where is used. So you need to again go and see how np.where works. So wherever the there is a background, which is wherever there is not a background, because it says not equal to zero, you take the image that is this particular real image. And wherever there it is a background, you take the blurred image. Yes, that is exactly what we want. Okay. And then you again, you uh, rescale the blurred image, you rescale the final image, which is this one, final uh, image over here. And basically this was the final image, okay? And then you also have the normal image that is here, okay? Again, you concatenate everything in the X axis and display it. You can see over here, as I had explained, this is the overall fully blurred image. This is the real image. And this is the foreground is taken from real and background is taken from the blurred image, okay? So this is what we have done. Again, this is just to show the uh, real size of the image. It's a huge image as you can see, I have to, you know, scroll. When you, when you take this image and do nothing but uh, resize the 300, 300, 300 cross 300, you get this pixelated image. So um, code will be on GitHub. So thank you very much. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much and bye.